Tom Brokaw, apparently, says, do you know a single person who thinks Jed York is a good owner? Well, I don't know that many people. <laughs> but the people I know, no. You Actually, sure about that? I think there's some people that cover this team that think Jed York gets a raw deal. Oh, you mean – I thought they meant uh, not media people. But I see because you're down there with the media. Uh, I wouldn't know the answer to that one. But the people I know know. But you're saying some media people think he's good? I w- Look, I, family friend Matt Mayoko, I love him. I think if you asked him on the record, is Jed York a good owner, he would say yes. Interesting. I think now, he would say I, yes. I really respect Matty, and I know I that you well. No um, question. I would – you know, when I have lunch with Matty when we're allowed again – I would like to ask him why, and I bet what's more, he'd have very good arguments. Very, I think very- he absolutely would. I just think he would say that Jed York is a good owner. I don't know what Matt Barrows and Cam Inman would say. I just have a feeling Matt would, and I think that's interesting because Matt is the leader of the beat. Iggy, what about the guy up in Sacramento? What's his name? Would he Be- think? Biederman. Yeah, I think again? Biederman. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think Biederman also would say that Jed York is a good owner. I think the fashionable thing to say is that Jed York takes too much flack because uh, he was handed the team. He got it at a young age. And a lot of people who covered Eddie DeBartolo didn't give him a chance. He's held to too high of a standard. He built a stadium. Eddie never did that. Uh, he hired Kyle. I'm telling you, I'm, this, this is all the stuff you're going to hear. Okay. I think a lot of people have his back. Okay. Uh, you know, again, I, I, my question is, was he a good owner when he ran out on the team at halftime? That was his finest moments of the, of the season. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. 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 Was he a good owner when he gave Kyle Shanahan a six-year extension for having one good year? Recently, I had Eric Davis on my show. And I had no – I knew he was good, but I didn't know he was that good. And he said a bunch of stuff that was, like, Confucius. Like, it's been – it's stuck with me. And it's like changed how I think about football. And he said one thing like a lot of guys have one good year. Like Eric Davis was a successful NFL player and he has no real respect for a guy who had one good year. It's like, you know how many guys have done that? Coaches, players like, okay, do it again. Can you do it again? That Then I'll respect you. Do it every year. Like Richard Sherman did, like Eric Davis did. So far, Kyle hasn't been that guy. And nor, until has, he, Armstead. nor has Armstead. You know, so until they get there, you're just a guy who had one good year, and Jed York was impressed because Jed, I don't think he's had a good year ever. You know who? Another one who had one good year, Jimmy Garoppolo. One good year. Yep. A lot of guys have had one good year. Solomon Thomas had one good year in college. They drafted him. C.J. Beathard had no good years in college. They drafted him. So the one good year rule. Niners, you should know better. Two years. You're looking for two. <laughs> 